Heartbreaking. Obama's presidential library went full Islam. Holy crap! Former President Obama has plans for a library, but there could be more than meets the eye. He recently unveiled his 3D rendered model and onlookers noticed something bizarre and disturbing about it. They couldn't believe what they saw. Obama spent eight years trying to sympathize with Muslims and get Americans to turn Islamic. Or at the very least, convince Americans to accept the primitive culture of the Islamic religion, the one who beheads, murders people for being gay, married child brides, honor kills family members, and oppresses women by forcing them to wear specific clothing and not allowing them to have individual freedoms than men have. Obama wanted Americans to be accepting of Islam, but Islam isn't accepting of American values or culture. The number of uncivilized behaviors that stem from the Islamic religion is just not what Americas do. This is our country, our values, and our giant mixing pot of culture. There is room for civilized culture and behaviors, but there's no room for intolerance, crime, murder, and oppression. Obama basically took a knee on our flag every time he sympathized with the Islamic religion, the same culture that savagely hijacked planes and tore down the World Trade Center. While Americans are very accepting of people who act and behave in a rational societal manner, there's still no room for those who frown upon American values and fail to assimilate. It's no surprise that Obama leaves office and continues pressing his thumb up his nose while trying to get Americans to assimilate to Islam. His newest project, a large library, looks like a mosque. Does Muslim culture influence his library? Is he building a secret Trojan horse to hoard his Muslim friends into? Why does his American library look like there could be a hidden Muslim congregation gathering in the basement? Daily Caller reported. The plans for the future Obama presidential library have just been released, and they are quite progressive, to say the least. The library is scheduled to be built in Chicago, Illinois and will be within a stone's throw of the University of Chicago, Jackson Park and the South Shore Cultural Center. The design includes three buildings, a museum, library and form. The library's design and location has been a source of controversy itself within the Chicago community. The new 3D renderings for the park, released Wednesday, will only throw fuel on that fire. Here are a few pictures of Obama's library. Here are a few pictures of something that may have been an influence to Obama's library. When it comes to adding fuel to the fire, it's good to mention that many residents of Chicago don't want anything to do with Obama or his building. Even though Chicago may be Obama's hometown claim, but that hasn't resonated well with the residents who have protested the construction of the building. Obama selected the Jackson Park location and people protested. They don't want it. They believe it would cause rapid gentrification which would mean the people who live there now might be forced out due to higher rent. Even though gentrification is a good thing in the long run, there's always a period where societal clashes and class wars could erupt. The people of Chicago may have used the gentrification topic as an excuse. Perhaps the people just didn't want to see an increase in Muslim activity. National Review wrote. In May of this year, protesters began a campaign to implore the Obama Foundation, the group overseeing the library's construction, to sign a Community Benefit Agreement, CBA, which would commit the foundation to setting aside jobs for residents around the library, protecting low-income housing, supporting black-owned businesses, and strengthening neighborhood schools. The foundation refused, and when a resident asked Obama himself to sign the agreement at a September public meeting about the library, Obama refused as well. The issue many Chicagoans take with the library isn't simply the absent CBA or the use of parkland, but the way the foundation has steamrolled them at every stage of the process. And it's hard for them to ignore the irony underpinning the whole ordeal. Obama's stated purpose for his library is to inspire visitors and locals to make a positive change in their communities, yet the project has already begun to alienate the very community it's meant to change. Maybe Obama should take a hint. The residents don't want his nonsense in their town. Does anyone? Obama alienated America when he went on apology tours and wanted everyone to sympathize with the religion that took down the World Trade Center. Obama has a long way to go if he genuinely wants to win the hearts of Americans, but linking himself to Islam is not the way to do it. For most, 
it may be too late. The radical Islamic sympathizer may have already sealed the deal of his legacy. This atrocious building he's constructing in Chicago isn't receiving the attention he hoped. What did he expect? He expect.